the Bears and the Lions. This is just a disgusting game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, we might get Jared Goff, but we're definitely getting Andy. It's Andy Dalton against Jared Goff. In the, the fact that you optimistically said we might get Jared Goff <laughs> tells you everything that you need to know about this game. <laughs> That's right. Um, I look, I, I like I pointed out earlier. I'm taking the unders. I love the under in this game. I think the first half unders are a good look. Uh, can you look at uh, scroll a little bit to the right, Debo? You can probably see half. Um, I think it was 21 and a half. Ah, 20 and a half. I don't know if I bet that. I want to be, I want, I want to be safe from three touchdowns killing me. Uh, but I would certainly con- I mean, I mean, consider if you get 21 under 21 or under 21 and a half. I love that. Uh, in the first half under. Um, and I, I like the Lions in this game. I, I think the Lions, I think this is the Dan Campbell game. It's a holiday season. It's thank, like Dan Campbell on Fox. Like, I don't know if they give him a turkey leg or a, uh, like a trophy or whatever they do, but I can just see Dan Campbell like weeping on Thanksgiving and like giving thanks for everything. Um, I, I just, I think the Lions are going to find a way to win this one. I do feel a little bad for Matt Nagy. He was booed relentlessly at his son's high school football game, which is anybody who does that as a miserable yeah, human being ridiculous. like chanting fire Nagy at a high school football game like what are you even doing the guys there is a dad of course, of course if i was 18 i'd probably do it but um the uh anyway i like the lions outright i like the lions on the money line lions plus three would prefer three and a half and i like the under in the first half under in this game i like it it's like he's you know you got to give him the turkey leg so it's like he's biting the kneecap biting the ankle he's <laughs> He's really going at it. They really come full circle for yeah. Dan Campbell. Or he just eats an ankle. He'll eat yeah. a turkey ankle. I, I don't or know where you, where you get those, but sure. Or he's just eat like an actual, like, he, no, no, I don't want that fried turkey leg. I want a, a, a raw turkey leg. He's just <laughs> chewing on a turkey's leg. That would be pretty gross. unbelievable. That would be pretty unbelievable. Awesome. You know, I, I, we do a little pay-per-view or something like that, just really going for it. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be that'd be a good time. Uh, you know, the lion against the spread i mean you know as much as we talk about them being oh nine and one this season i believe they're well above 500 against the spread i think they were like six and four or something like that so it wouldn't surprise me they've hung around in these games it's not like they lose by these they lose in heartbreaking fashion it's not like they're really getting blown out they lost by three points last week so it's not not out of the realm of possibility i like the bears again it's just a field goal i just feel like andy dalton is a stable enough backup to right the ship here, especially against the team that is just, you know, it, they haven't won a game. It's not like they're going up against anything that's really giving you too, too much resistance there. And I'm looking more at David Montgomery. That could be the key cog in this game. He, he, the Lions are not good against the running game. The David Montgomery had over 100 yards and two touchdowns against this team earlier this season. If they play ball control running game and dominant defense against either Tim Boyle or Jer- or banged up Jared Goff with an oblique injury, I could see them easily covering that three points. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a fun game, 1230. Oh, it's very exciting. Can't wait to be streaming it on my phone. And I'll tell you this real quick. Uh, driving, Bears to, uh, driving up from Concord to High Point. One thing, uh, Bears 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five against teams with a losing record. Mm. So Bears, Bears need this one. That he needs this one. Yeah. Reported, patch, patch.com reported he was about to be fired after this game, regardless of win or loss. Props for this game. I will take... Oh, we're both on uh, David Montgomery over rushing yards, right? Yeah. 77 yep. and a half. I'm sure it's, if, if it's down to 75 and a half, I'm going to lose my mind. Um, has it moved? Now, look, the the Lions can win this game and David Montgomery can still go over this total. Like with Andy Dalton back there, they're going to pound, the, they're going to hand the ball to David Montgomery a bunch. He's their bell cow when he's healthy. They have no problem giving him carries. Uh, Devo, see if you can uh, control F your way into David Montgomery carries, by the way. Just curious to see what the number is. I was looking for those. I don't think they, they have much. Seventeen and a half. Myself. Wow, that's okay, there, there, there. substantial. Jeez Louise. That's a lot. I mean, like, you don't usually, I mean, like Najee Harris is the biggest I've seen this year is like 21. I mean, 17 and a half is a ton of carries. If they're trailing at all, you won't get there. God, that's too many. I was hoping it would be like 13 and a half. Nah, 17 and a half is too many. Way too much. But I'll tell you this, though. that The Bears, when I say that they're bad against the run, they are bad against they the bad. run. Over the last three weeks, they've allowed 188.3 rushing yards per game. That is just... That is a ton. A ton. God. It's unbelievable. 
Is that is that right? That is right. One hundred eighty eight sure point three. I'm, I mean, last three <laughs> last three weeks. Let's see. They played the. Uh, uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. That is correct. They. Uh, <laughs> They played the Eagles, Steelers, and Browns. <laughs> it's about as, like, is Jonathan Taylor coming to town anytime soon? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that that checks out. So there's just nothing they can do. Yeah, I mean, I think you take the David Montgomery over rushing yards. 77 and a half is a ton, but you have sort of an out here. If like if I mean, if the Bears are winning, it's it's Montgomery time. And he's yeah. like if the Bears get a lead, Montgomery's gonna get fed. Because again, Matt Nagy needs this W. Like this would go a long way over the next ten days to getting people off his back. If they lose to the Lions on Thanksgiving, I mean, it's open season. It's, it's over. Like they're booing him at Bill Bulls games. And again, his son's high. I mean, oh golly, he needs this W pretty badly. Um, I've also got Andy Dalton over passing yards. I had two hundred eighteen and a half last night. So I think it's up to two nineteen and a half, maybe. Let's see, two fifty? No, two eight, two two eighteen. Um, that's just a low number. Yeah, like the Lions have a bad defense. You know, if we get the Bears in any kind of trailing situation, we can easily go over this number. Um, you know, you're not, you're not like there, there's a, there's myriad ways to get there. You would prefer this to be about two ten, two fifteen, but I think two eighteen is 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 very gettable. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, you have deep threats like Mooney. I mean, Allen Robinson's been a unbelievable down year for him but oh, maybe yeah. maybe you can get something from him in this game you know, with a little bit more of a, a more of a polished passer at this point in their stages of their career between fields and, and dalton if that's the nicest way to say that but <laughs> you know I, I, you know maybe you could get there with all that so you sure can bash yeah. Andy dalton on this podcast uh, it's, it's okay I, the ghost of uh of, of breach will pop up if you say his name three <laughs> times so I don't, I don't know if I want that smoke no, uh, for me you don't, you don't want that smoke <laughs> for sure. me I'll go with get Swift, a tiny uh, package goes to John Reach, everyone. Uh, Swift for me receiving yards 33 and a half over. Uh, it he hasn't really been a huge factor in the receiving game over the last few weeks just because he's dominated on the ground 130, uh, 100 at least 130 rushing yards in his last two games. He's just been awesome on the ground, but. His bread and butter is that dual threat ability, catching the ball out of the backfield. He's still involved in that stretch. It just hasn't been that heavy. I think he gets over this one. I think it goes back to what we've seen a little bit more than usual, especially if all of a sudden we're getting an injured Jared Goff playing in this game. He's going to want to get the ball out quick, not take any more abuse. That is just feeding ground for running backs out of the backfield, catching the football. So to me, I think he's going to have a, a decent amount of targets here. He's gone over this number of six times this season. And last week, the 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 Bears defense let Devontae Freeman catch six passes for 31 yards. Swift is a much better yeah. back at this point in their careers in that area of the, in that area of the field. So to me, this one, Swift over receiving yards, that number just feels too low. Yeah, and you've also got again like the yeah the Bears are favored here. Um, the, 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 those props, the Montgomery rush prop and Swift receiving proper correlated in the yeah. sense that if Montgomery is running a ton, Swift will be catching a bunch of passes. Uh, all right, let's, um, oh, first touchdown score in this game. Forgot Hawkinson, I guess. I mean, 11 to one. I don't love really, I don't love that at all. Cause he's really oh. falling off. It's been, no, so no, no, I got the, the answer. I, I don't mind Hawkinson at 10 to one. The answer. Keep on scrolling down. Is the answer I have this is the this is the the bet you have to make. Where is he? It's, they keep giving this crusty old corpse Jimmy Graham at 35 to 1. They just <laughs> Matt Nagy loves feeding this guy in the red zone. There's this is a bet. This is Jimmy Graham. Like uh Goldsboro's fine Goldsboro fine Goldsboro's finest. I don't know if you know about Goldsboro, North Carolina. Home of Wilbur's barbecue, Sully. Very very North Carolinian. I like um, it. Right near an Air Force base, planes flying over all the time. Uh, Jimmy Graham, 35 to 1. They roll this guy out. And they like I didn't even know he's active. And then all of a sudden he's just getting three targets in prime time in the red zone. Like they dial up plays for Jimmy Graham in the red zone. I swear it's got to be Ryan Pace telling Matt Nagy, we need Jimmy Graham to catch more touchdown passes because I have to justify this contract. I don't care the reason. 35 to 1 is crazy for how much usage he gets in the red zone relative to his actual usage el elsewhere on the field. I love it. I'll jump on that with you. I mean, I didn't really love Hawkinson, so sure. I'll, I I'll like Hawkinson to one. I mean, I, I, what, are the, what are the guys at the top? Uh, 
besides Hawkins? It's got to be, it's gotta be Montgomery and Swift. And yeah, I mean, yeah, could, yeah, the running backs probably the top guys. Um, Mooney nine to one. You can't bet that. Yeah, Hawkinson, Komet, and uh, Jimmy Graham. Let's bet the tight ends of this game. Yeah, I like and it. Cash and cash in like a twelve forty five. Okay, I said I wasn't going to crack this beer this early, <laughs> but <laughs> sure, I have to podcast in seven hours. But we did hit a first touchdown score.